Hey guys, New Hope Cuts here today on Sunday. Um, if you've noticed, I on my and seen my previous trailer videos, you notice that on this wall here, I used to have uh, two backpack blowers hanging on a hook. Um, Want to get a shout out to. Grid Iron uh, Custom Tool Storage. There they go right there. Grid Iron Custom Tool Storage. Uh, Mr. Jeff reached out to me from um, their organization um, and asked would I be interested in testing out some of their products. And obviously I said yes. And um, I did have a need so um, what I plan on doing is getting this backpack blower holder um, installed um, in this area here so I actually got two of them because it, I got a, a two echo backpack blowers um, so um, so yeah now these are some the instructions now um, like the card said you know hey you need to go out and print the instructions off of the site so that's what I did um, I got some mounting hardware here so I got some mounting hardware for, for both So it uh, it's a little different. It, it um, compared to some of the other ones out there. There it, here is two post sets that we will screw to the wall, and that in turn will allow for the blower rack to sit on. Obviously, I got a whole bunch of equipment. I'm going to parts and pieces. Um, I got, got the plate, and uh, that's the locking mechanism. Here is some more hardware, and again, that's just a card. Want to point out, um. Gridiron lifetime guarantee that they offer. If you're not happy with the performance, they say they'll replace it. You know, you know there is some exceptions here, right? That they talk about. You know, spring shocks, different things like that are subject to normal wear and tear. But I think overall, from the construction of it, like most folks out there vendors and if you got a good vendor they're going to stand behind their product so all right so stay tuned guys let me get some stuff set up here and i come back to you hey guys one correction here on here um i was i got everything out you know screws everything and I printed out the wrong instructions. So here are the right ones that tells us how to mount mount everything up. So stay tuned. All right, so I'm back right now. And what I had to do is, you know, get your mounting bracket out of the, out of the, um, you know, the pack that it comes with. If you notice, take a look at this and you see, hopefully it, you can see it, how it's um, got that T-nut and those nuts on it and it slides down in the grooves. So here's, if you look at the top of it, there's the groove of it where it slides down in there and then you tighten it up. So I just got it finger tight right now. So I got one here and another one down here. And so 
when I get it all together, I'm going to, and forgive me guys, because I, I don't have my tripod with me, and I may stop and go get it, so I can do this the right way, but I can mount it, if you look at it, it says find the stud, and you mount to it, and then you mount again, so that you have that piece. So, um, I'm going to put the camera down, not going to bore you with mounting this, I'm going to screw it in and I'm going to come back here. So, stay tuned. Alright, so, as you can see, I got it mounted here, mounted here, hopefully you can see that I'm in the camera. Yep, you can. So, again, mount it, mount it. Instructions here, make sure you you can, you know, you screw it to metal posts that give you the necessary hardware for that. Um, so now, <clears throat> the way this works is you can um, screw this underneath. And it goes, this is what it mounts to. You want it at your right height. So, um, also, there's, here's the locking mechanism piece that it goes, get my leg over here out of the way, it goes same way. Um, see that was it's in the rack real so you loosen it up yep and it goes up like this and you keep it going however you want it I'm gonna hand tighten this for right now um, and I level it up but this is the locking mechanism for here um, as well so Stay tuned. Let me get everything kind of hand tight because it all here's the base that's down here. It goes up in here the same way and everything um, from that standpoint. So, and it sits just like this right here. On here, tighten it up. There's your, uh, what's the name? So, uh, stay tuned. Let me go get me a wrench for this so I can hand tighten it and I'll be back now as you can see I'm gonna get the camera a little closer I got my base screwed together so again it's got the little um, pieces that go down in here um, and then you screws through there one through there hold it okay now same thing down here Here's another one. It's got a uh, flat bracket underneath there with these two bolts goes into it and then it, it slides back and forth. And this one, and this one can uh, slide left to right so that it'll fit your blower. So uh, I'm gonna hold right now and I uh, gonna go get the blower and set it in here and then from there, I can adjust up like I want to, um, you know, from, from this side. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get the camera right, guys, so you can kind of see it. So, yeah, you can see that I'm trying to adjust up right here um, from that side so you can see it. Yeah, it'd be better. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Yeah, so you can see it through here. So I'm going to stay tuned. I'm going to go get the blower, and then I'll be back. All right. Hey, guys, I'm back. So as you can see, I got the blower in there. Um, 
for the rack itself. Now, basically, I get everything in there like I want it and get it tightened up to like I want it so that the blowers sit in there um, uh, like that. Now, that's pretty much if I want it to be straight up like this, which I probably will, um, so that uh, everything kind of lines up. So now I could take this piece and I could unscrew this, as you can see, right? Move this out of the way. That's okay about that. So I got it all the way down here. So that's how it's currently, that's how it will lock. Then to get the bar out, once I get everything screwed up, like it should, this lifts out. This lifts out just like that. Okay? Now. Get it back down in here so it'll go in there. So, now the question of it is, do I want to keep it that low or do I want to raise it up? I think, I think I want to raise it up. Now, I, because remember over here, I got a second one that I need to get mounted. And so... If I raise it up, I got to make sure that it's, it's down, you know. I can leave it like that, but I want to try to maximize my space. So I'm going to adjust it a little bit, and then I come back, guys, so you can kind of see it, how, what we looking what we looking like. All right? So stay tuned. All right, guys, got this one installed. You know, after getting the blower in there, uh, getting it where I want it to be at, you know, I still got to put the blower to mounting bracket over here. It's about to start raining, I see. It's raining. That's fine. So, yeah. So, I'm going to tighten everything down. I had I was finagling with it a little bit. I had a epiphany that I could slide this thing all the way up to the top and use one post for two blowers, but I couldn't do it because if I did, if I pushed it up, this bar right here wouldn't open and I would hit the top of the trailer. So it's in there. Alright, so stay tuned. Alright guys, I'm back. As you can see, I had to do a couple mods and adjustments. So, I wanted them side by side. Really couldn't have them side by side because of the, the blower. The arm deal, right? If you, if you remember, I had it. I had them close together. So what I had to end up doing, I had to shove this down uh, a little bit and move this over so that I can get these mounted on here like I should. I got this one taken care of. I cheated on this one. So what I did is I took the measurements off of this, my first one that I did. And, uh, um, so where I, I, uh, between where the locking mechanism is back here in the back, I, I measured on this one from here to the top of this locking mechanism in the back. And so, Hey, I took that measurement, used my tape measure, measured down, did the same thing, did the same thing underneath measure from here to here on this side 
come back on this side within uh, a half an inch. I had to adjust this one down, but that's 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 a, that's good. That's good. So um, that's how they look right here. So uh, I need to put this base on this piece right here. So let me, uh, which again, it is this piece and a couple bolts that bolt onto the bottom here. Now that I got it, I can adjust it out. And from there, I can bolt it on. So not gonna bore you guys with that, but basically, I got this piece right here. This piece, I already got this piece already mounted. So I'm gonna just mount this piece on here with this and that'll take care of that piece. So, all right guys, I'll be back, stay tuned. All right guys, as you can see right here, got it on there. Just like on this side over here. Right there. Right there. Stay up there, guys. Stay up there. So really, the only thing now I need to figure out is the mounting strap that they got in here. They got a mounting strap in here for these guys to mount up like that so that you know, so that they can go in there. So I'm gonna play around with that and see how that works. Hopefully you saw that. I got two of them. Because again, got two kits here. So two mounting straps um, for mounting the blower hoses and all that kind of stuff. So, all right guys. I mean, for the most part, I've got everything buttoned up like it should. Um, again, shout out to Grid Iron Products for supplying me with these two blower racks for the backpack blowers and all of that. Um, I've been impressed with them, you know. Um, they seem to look like they'll hold up good um, from that standpoint. So, so yeah, uh, looks like this will be a winner for me for what's going to carry my backpack blowers um, out there, right? So, um, you know, after you get the first one together, yeah, it makes it easy for the second one. The second one went way faster um, than the first one. Um, you know, so I may end up getting another attachment here for like the handheld blowers. I may go ahead and order that, um, stick on here for the handheld blowers. Um, you know, these things you can, um, they, they have the adapters again, like this, that you, they could sell with them and you just continue to mount or bolt on to these rails, right? This kit, from what I've read and understood, um, is meant to work on an open trailer, enclosed trailer, you name it. So, um, that's that's where we're at um, for this one. So, again, shout out to Gridiron Products um, for sending me this equipment uh, for the whole mile echo backpack blower racks so all right guys i know this is a long video but hopefully it's going to help somebody um get it installed in an enclosed trailer set up um, i'm gonna put um you know links to the website in the video um and all of that so you can read more about it all right guys new hope cuts keep cutting